Welcome to Film Scene 21, where today I'll be taking a look at some data storage options for backing up your Blu-rays. Yeah, my name's Simon. I'm on a quest to bring you real 21st century reviews of film and great television and the best ways to enjoy those through home media with some unboxings along the way and an occasional look at some of the tech that helps me to both enjoy my passion and to bring it to you here on this channel. And that's what we're focusing on today. I don't know about you, but I'm finding more and more that I'm running out of storage for several reasons, not least among those uh, making digital uh, backups of the Blu-rays that I have. That way you can obviously secure it in case you lose it or break it or you can obviously watch it when you're out and about. Um, uh, traveling and you don't have a Blu-ray player available like you're on holiday or something. Using the, the data on my uh, laptop I eventually got full up so I had to turn to using other options such as external hard drives. Traditionally that would be something like this WD My Passport which I was using before. However I was finding that uh, not only had I run out of space again, but this had failed me a couple of times. So I thought the most reliable and best option next time I, I sort of upgrade would be to go for a, a solid state drive SSD. And that's what we're looking at today. I've got two to show you. Uh, we have the Samsung T7 and the uh, SanDisk Extreme V2. So let's check them out. So both of these drives Utilize NVMe for hard disk interface. They're both USB 3.2 Gen 2 for transfer speeds up to 10 gigabytes a second. And they are both have the same read write speeds. That's 1050 for read megabytes a second that is, and 1000 megabytes a second for write. And um, both of these iterations come in one terabyte versions here, um, and you can get them higher and lower, obviously. Um, uh, but first, we're going to have a little closer look at the Samsung T7. So this is the box for it. It's a little bit thicker than the other one. Let's crack that open. There's another box inside the box, so like pass the parcel. We've got Samsung on there. Uh, let's pop that lid open, and then we see the drive inside. It's just inside a little holder there, so we'll leave the holder in place. Drop out the drive, shut the lid again. There we go. Oops, a bit fiddly. That's it. There's the drive itself. So it's super small, super thin, super light. It's uh, 58 grams. It's 85 by 57 by 8 mil. I don't know what that is. Two, three credit cards wide, fit in your pocket quite easily. There's the USB-C interface. This one comes with a limited three year warranty. It also comes in a couple of other colors. You can get it in uh, blue and red. I went for this gray version. Also, it retails for around about the 110, 120 pound mark, which is fair, but I was fortunate to grab it during an Amazon discount period for 78 pounds. So keep your eyes peeled for those reductions. Now, what else do you get in the box other than the drive itself? Let's crack that open. Uh, Inside is another little box which features accessories. In here you will find two transfer cables and a little book clip which is the a warranty and quick starts guide. And the two cables you get are the USB-C to USB-C transfer cable and a USB-C to USB-A. So you've got the options there depending on what devices you're trying to transfer from. So it's very helpful that they include two separate cables for those. So now we're going to look at the SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD V2. V2 because they had the similar version out before but with slower read write speeds and they've increased those so this is version 2 of that. Slightly smaller box than the T7. Let's just slide this out. This is a little plastic tray which has the, the drive in it and a couple of uh, accessories which I'll have a look in a minute. The drive has this little plastic sheath on it so we'll pull that off. Again it's a very small very light drive. Um, it's uh, 40, about 41 grams just under that I think and uh, measures 96 by 49 again by 8 mil so it's very small and very easy to slip in your pocket again two or three credit cards whip. That's the USB-C interface there. Shows you it's one terabyte on the back. So that's useful in case you've got a number of these drives. Now, this one comes with a five year limited warranty, which is good, and is stated as more rugged. It's got this forged aluminium frame that's protected by a silicon rubber skin and has an IP55 rating. So it gives you some additional protection against sand 
and water and that sort of thing. Just comes in this one color option, but it does have this handy handy hole. What's that for? Well, obviously you can connect it to uh, you know a carabiner or something on your on your bag or your rucksack or hook it on somewhere, uh, and that's quite useful, especially on your travels. Just don't have it dangling anywhere that somebody might see it and want to steal it. Again, it has a password feature on here, so it comes with Sandis Secure Access software on there for that, and it will work with anything above Windows 7, Mac OS 10.11 and up, and it says a range of USB Type-C smartphones. Now these retail for about £150, um, but again I was fortunate enough to grab it in a, uh, a reduction period on Amazon for about £99, which is which is very good value. So I was very pleased with that. And there it is just sitting in the palm of my hand. Now just with regards to the other bits and pieces you get in here, we have a SSD safety guide and what have you, little pamphlet there, and also our, our transfer cable. Now what they've given us here is a USB-C to USB-C. Can we peel this off? Yes, let's do that. Aha. Uh, it's very short, just bear that in mind. Um, but they've given us an adapter for the A, if you have a device that uses type A connection. So you can stick that on the end of there. Let's just do that, just to see it in action. So there we go. So that's how you would use the adapter. So it's nice that they've got that, but it's 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 better probably to have the the two cable version that you get with the um, the Samsung, and these cables look longer as well. That might not be a good thing. Maybe you like a short cable, but there we go. So that's useful. That that comes in the pack with that. Um, so yeah. Obviously, there there they are in comparison side by side. And what's interesting, even though this one's more. Uh, the Sandic is rated as being more rugged. They are both stated as being able to withstand a drop of about two meters. Not going to test it out today, but uh, it's good to know that they are rugged and they can handle that drop. But do bear in mind these are solid drives with no moving parts in them, unlike their spinning disc counterparts, so they should be more durable than them. And I will pop some links down in the description below if you'd like to grab hold of these from Amazon. So I'm going to do a little bit of testing, just a simple data transfer to each of the drives, uh, just to see how they compare and if I experience any issues. So that took quite a while. Um, I just transferred using the MacBook Pro, I transferred um, some files from the spinning disk hard drive here, the Western Digital My Passport, about 94 files, totaling about 345 gig, so it's quite a lot I suppose, um, and it took it's very similar for both. The sand is ever so slightly longer, two hours, 27 and 17 seconds. And the Samsung just beat it out by two hours, 26 and 55 and a half seconds. So, I mean, there's only a few seconds in both. What was kind of interesting is that while the Samsung was, what I would say, warm while it was in operation, I would say this was quite warm. So a little bit warmer in operation than that, the sand is, don't know if that's something to do with the uh, the casing this has got, but uh, neither were uncomfortable to hold. Um, so they both operated very well, there were no issues, neither fell over, um, so that's all good to report. So that's just a quick look at these two drives, uh, but they both appear to be excellent options if you're looking for additional and reliable storage. Obviously one terabyte on each of these is only going to get me so far, uh, so it's important to make sure you've got your uh, data backed up in multiple locations. I mean, you obviously on the original storage, then perhaps on the cloud if you can find a convenient and affordable option, and then perhaps some larger format storage, either off-site or, or RAID uh, storage, which is something I might look into in the future. It's a bit technical for me at the moment. So at the, mo at the moment, I've just gone for another one of these SanDisk Extremes, but this one's four terabyte. So I can see that lasting me for the foreseeable future. Now these usually go for about five to 600 pounds, but Western Digital recently had a deal where it's about 360. So um, that's pretty good for four terabyte SSD drive. So I went for that. So highly recommend it if it's uh, some sort of additional storage you're looking for. Now, this is not a tech channel, but I do like to share with you if there's something I've need, a need that I've had for, uh, you know, backing up Blu-rays and other sorts of things, I thought I'd, I'd, I always look into it, try and get some options, and I thought I'd share those with you today. So if you did like this, please do give the video a like, that would really help out. And also, if you want to grab any of these, there will be links below down in the description, along with ways to follow me on Twitter and Insta. There's plenty more uh, videos on the channel, so join, uh, click on the link below, 
and you can you can subscribe as well if you want to join the Film Scene 21 fam. Um, as usual, my name's Simon. It's been great having you join me here on Film Scene 21, and I look forward to seeing you next time. So take care. Bye bye for now.